in the documentary you're talking about uh, a different roller derby uh player and she like chipped your tooth and like... that was baby ruckle yeah. i'll never forget her <laughs> never i said you better take her off the track right now because i'm gonna kill her <laughs> they took yeah. her off yeah everyone welcome back to en casa with the with la plaza um we are doing the olympic auditorium uh podcast and today i am joined by two very special guests i am joined with former t-bird stars honey sanchez and bertha ruiz copeland uh welcome you both how are you doing today we're doing great good we made it here <laughs> made it here made it in one oh, piece yeah. Right. yeah so as i mentioned to you before um this podcast is basically a way for people like me born and raised in San Francisco <laughs> like okay. to you know find ways to to see the importance of uh, preserving stories and history uh, such as the Olympic Auditorium which has been being preserved so beautifully with the exhibition that we have in La Plaza as well as Steve Dubrow's uh, documentary and one of the sports that I really stood out to me was roller derby when I was learning about uh, the Olympic, just because, you know, you saw men and women together competing. And that was something that was so like, not even heard of before, like with the Olympics and things like that, you know, so. Yeah, we had the same rules. Yeah. Men rules, we had the same as the women. Yeah, that's so. amazing. We even skated with some men sometimes. When somebody would get hurt, they would get one of the girls to go out there. That's awesome. And we were right there with them. Yeah. No mercy then for the nope. girls. <laughs> no. Wow. So uh, why don't we go in and uh, talk about your history? Um, what drew you to roller derby? You know, how long did you do it? Mine was a fight with my father. He wanted to watch... Uh, what was it? I don't remember. Some program he liked to watch, and we... Oh, well, he liked to watch the roller derby, and we wanted to watch I Love Lucy or something. <laughs> <laughs> My brother and I were yeah. little kids. Yeah. And uh, by him watching roller derby, we started watching it. Mm -hmm. So when I was uh, 13 years old, I'd ask Mom for a pair of skates, and that's how I got into skating. Wow. That's awesome. And I also watch it on television, mm -hmm. and there was uh, the Los Angeles Brave Skating. And there was this little, short little guy. His name was Ralphie Valadares. And I saw him, and I says, Mom, I'm going to marry that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, sure. Sure enough, I ended up marrying Ralphie Valadares. Wow. Yes. And then I went to the first game, and once I walked into the, the Olympic Auditorium, the roaring of the wheels, it just, I still get goosebumps, you know? It sounded awesome. And then watching the girls, oh, I said, I want to do that. And sure enough, thank you, Lord, I did it. <laughs> so, so you both grew up also going to the Olympic to watch uh, roller derby games Oh, we well. were on amateur teams and skated the Olympic at halftime, the regular teams. Oh, my God. I was like 13 years old, and uh, I loved it. I knew that's what I wanted to do, but I made a deal with my parents. I had to keep a, like an A minus, B plus average in order to continue <laughs> skating. I asked for Christmas skates, and I got my Christmas skates, and that was it. It was all over. It was all roller derby. No more I Love Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I love derby. I love <laughs> derby now. <laughs> wow. And and you, you grew well, up? I used to uh, I was born in Texas, yes. so I came back to, uh, to California with my dad, and I had already bought a pair of skates. My mother got me a pair of skates when I was in Texas. So I brought my skates, and we started going to the roller rinks. Mm -hmm. And then when my mom moved back over here, then that's when I saw it on, on TV. And I already had my skates, so it was meant, you know? Wow. Yeah. So you saw it on on TV in Texas as well, or did you no, only find out when you came to LA? To California, okay. yes, yes. Uh -huh. Wow. That's awesome. I mean... You know, these childhood stories that are just so innocent, you never know, like, these dreams that yes. come to reality, you know, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, dreams come true. Yeah, I think so. And I think um, I find it very fascinating because what, what I really appreciate about the Olympic Auditorium is that these sports were kind of a, a way to perform, 
you know, I, I, I was a dancer. I grew up a dancer. I, I was trained in classical ballet and all that. And, and I was like, at first I didn't think I would find anything in common with the Olympic, but I, I really connected with how liberating this space was. It was a liberating space for people to just like let loose and just and go we crazy. did. Let yeah. me tell you, we oh, did. Not only that, people <laughs> sit in line for hours to get a ticket to get in there, especially yeah. Tuesday nights when it was on TV. Yeah. I think they had a lower uh, discount on the the ticket, mm. so they would go around the block waiting to get in. Oh my god, that's awesome, man! It's so. Um, so you both uh, were on the Braves first. Yes. Um, were you both part of the transition from when it went from the Braves to no, the No, it was T-Braves? different owners, different okay. okay. Yeah, we skated with the Los Angeles Braves, and then there was a team that uh, they heard they were closing up the roller derby. So they went what we call outlaw, mm-hmm. and uh, they started a team in Texas. So Ralphie and I, we were going out together in that, and he called me from over there that one of the girls got hurt because she got punched in the jaw and they broke her jaw. That was Shirley Hartman's jaw got broken. So he said, we need a girl. I said, well, Ralph, I'm only 17. I don't know if my mother will let me go. He said, well, let me talk to your mom. Senora, all in Spanish, mm-hmm. you know, I, we need her and blah, 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 you know. But Ralphie, she's only 17. Senora, I'll take care of her. Don't you worry. So my mother let me go. We got married. <laughs> <laughs> that day? He took care of me. Oh, no. He took care of me. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, mine started completely different. I was like 14 years old, skating at halftime for the amateurs. Mm-hmm. And we were skating in an uh, outside stadium, Long Beach Memorial Stadium. And uh, one of the girls got hurt. So Bill Bogash, who was running the team, came down. He said, you, come talk to me downstairs. So I went downstairs, and he said... Uh, he looked at me. He said, how old are you? I said, 14. He said, come back next year. I can't use you. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. No, and, I, but... and I went back the following year, got on the team oh at 15. Oh, my God. You were both so young. Yeah. You were like 15 and still 14. in high school. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's no, I was in junior high school. You were still in junior high. That's insane. Wow. I mean, that also, I mean, you made a career out of roller oh. derby from a young age. How was that? I also like... married a roller derby skater. Yeah. So you both met your your husbands in yes, roller derby, yes, exactly. and they were both great skaters. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. I mean, I'd love to hear like how you met your husbands through roller derby. derby. Yeah, it was fun. It was exciting. You know, like you got to Bertha travel. Said, all over, yeah. yeah, Bertha said there would be a line, and I was working at the state theater. So when I come there, there was a man that was always in the front. And he would save me a place, so I would go in. So we sit in the front row. And then when they would have a timeout, uh, Billy Bolgash and, and Saunders and them, they'd come over, they were right there, and I was right in the front row. And they would say, Ralphie likes you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, my heart just melted right there and then. <laughs> oh, my God, I would have blushed. Oh, <laughs> You're you know, probably I'm, all red. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Right red. <laughs> yeah. But we got to see the world. We mm-hmm. traveled a lot, mm-hmm. you know, Europe. Paris, Africa. Wow. Yeah, it was awesome. Wow. And it, all over the United States. Yeah. You know. so I didn't do a lot of traveling for the first couple of years because I was a minor. Mm-hmm. So whenever they skated in L.A. or the Bay Area, I got to skate here for the first couple of years. After that, I got to travel. Mm-hmm. Wow. So so the, the roller derby games would be uh, also international as well? No, not really. We had more all national. They would have tours maybe for a couple months. Yeah. And then in the later years they did, they went to Australia and mm-hmm. some places where they oh, stayed okay. more. Okay. Wow. Um, and so when you were trying out, or was there, is it tryouts to get into roller derby? Well, or? Like, like I said, we had a training school. Okay. We went to the school and we would put in like four classes a week to be able to be on an amateur team. Mm-hmm. And you had to be able to skate yeah. <laughs> as well. And then they would pick you to be on an A team or a B team. And then from there, they would pick people to be on okay. teams That's when they needed, as needed. <laughs> so when we were skating amateur, some of the coaches would be watching Watch. us. Oh. And that's how they would pick. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like how they, I guess, draft football players. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I also am learning so much about sports while doing this. <laughs> Football's I... the best, too. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't know about that. I like basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it's it's... 
super interesting to see how uh, your journey into roller derby, you've had to go through different, like, hurdles, literally. and Well, the camaraderie, and... we had every nationality. Yeah. And all ages. I mean, some of the women that were skating were all close to their 50s mm-hmm. down to teenagers. Mm-hmm. And we all lived together and traveled together. Yeah. And, and we'd do it all over again, let me tell Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Snap like this, I'd be on, on the team right away. Oh, I love it. Wow. Even I mean, now I get excited, you know, when watching. We have we have a reunion every year, mm-hmm. and it's in Las Vegas. And there's a skater there that has a track. And uh, I put my skates on, I think it was seven years ago. It just felt so good. Mm-hmm. But like my daughter says, no more, Mom, no more. It's okay. <laughs> oh, no. I guess. No, I wouldn't like to break a fingernail now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Have to go get a manicure. <laughs> throwing people off the rink right. and like Didn't elbowing worry about each the manicure. other. <laughs> no, that's... That's insane. You were both very tough women. Like the I best part was the both. fighting, though. Yeah. Oh, how you pulling hair. Love... Yeah. Oh, and yeah. we both had really long hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Is there um, a certain, I guess, fight that that stands out to you that you always remember and you always think about the? There were so many, sweetheart. Let me tell you, yeah. they were all good. Yeah. I have one, and I had a picture for a long time. It was Ruta Straska and I. And we both had our hair like down to our waist. And we're in the middle of fighting and our hair is like cascading <laughs> down. It was amazing. Wow. <laughs> One time, even at the training school, I wasn't professional then. Oh there was a girl and uh, Muncie um, and her Marilyn. sister. Yeah. Her sister came over and says, you've been picking on my... I said, I'm not picking on nobody, you know. Well, you want to fight? I said, well, come on. Boy, we started fighting and I knocked her down. And then I went down on her. And they were holding my hands. So then I just start hitting her with my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, that's terrible. Yeah. But that I was mean, me. That was me. <laughs> I guess, no, no off the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess you both knew getting into it that there would oh, be a yes, lot of yes. physical fighting. Oh, well, there was a lot of falling, first yeah, of all. Yeah. And we didn't wear padding. We oh wore pe- there was a piece of leather on the uh, thighs, maybe, yeah. and on the knees. A that little bit, it. a little yeah. cushion. Yeah. <laughs> no, they did have a, a little pocket so you could put a butt pad, but we didn't want to look big I, back we there. You know, we want to look nice. We didn't want so it sticking out in the back. No skin. way I would put a, <laughs> I never wore one. No, not me oh neither. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I see people wear those elbow pads and stuff. We didn't wear those. Know. We cut yeah. our sleeves off and would wear the short sleeves. Wow. Was there ever, like... Getting, like, when you first started, was there ever, like, any fear or just, like, I nerves? never had fear. Wow. Never. Okay. Wow. I was looking forward to it. Yeah. We'd get up there, we'd warm up, you know, mm-hmm. and get ready to go. Yeah, letting everything out. Oh, That's yes. awesome. Oh. I admire you both. I think I, you. I'm such a scaredy cat. I couldn't do what you do. You, you guys <laughs> We have, did. We yeah. did it. <laughs> no, it's insane. So you had mentioned that um, roller derby was a place where people of different races and different genders like work together as a team. What was it like, uh, first of all, as women to compete alongside men and be on a team with them when like women were still even like fighting for equal pay, you know, still fighting for equal pay to this Well, day. we didn't get equal pay. No, <laughs> no, I know. For sure. There wasn't yeah. equal. And honey, I definitely know because our husbands were really good skaters. So yeah. we did not get the pay they did. Yeah, no. First, the yeah. men got more than we did. Oh, for sure. But we skated because we loved it. Mm-hmm. I think we would have skated for free. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it, um, was it like... I, I'm curious to know, like, if you ever had uh, people in society, like, look down. Because it feels like it's such a, it's a violent sport. And, and violence is associated with masculinity. Did people ever, like, try to place gender roles on you or any of that? Not or? Really. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, we'd have movie stars and recording artists, mm. people that, friends. that wow. became our friends. Yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. They came to the games. They watched the skate. Yeah. No, that's... Even Dennis the Menace would be going to the to the game. Dennis the Menace, yeah. the actor, yeah. the little boy, <laughs> he'd wow. be at the games. Ray Charles couldn't see. He came to our games. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, that's, <laughs> that's like, I mean, I, I always like wonder because 
I I mean there were different fa- waves of feminism that I've I've studied in school and and it's crazy to see how the Olympic was such a place where that didn't exist where like um, there was so much unity and so much like energy in these spaces. That building has to be one of the mm-hmm. it radiates energy everything that went on in there. Yes. Yeah. No. It's it's a. I myself didn't know until the documentary that it was built in 1932. Yeah. When the Olympics were here, held here in L.A. Imagine. And we skated there all the time. It was just the Olympic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so we're going to yeah. skate. You're just going to skate. You didn't even realize. Um, so for how long did you did you both skate? Like, how many years do you approximately? Well, off and on, because we both had yeah. kids. I skated probably seven, eight years, and maybe went back two years later. I didn't skate yeah. a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I skated as about much as 30 I'm... years, maybe. Wow. Yeah. I went in a di- different direction. Went back to school, got my degree, mm-hmm. and went into the fashion business. Wow, no, that's that's awesome. Because guys... I had two kids. Yeah, no, you had to <laughs> had to do it. Wow. Well, I had my kids when I went to Australia. I took my girls with me. Oh wow! So they were in Australia for nine months with me over there. Oh my god! And they were skating. They would uh, put them on the track. They were already skating. Yeah. 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 Both mm-hmm. of my boys could skate. Yeah. My oldest, my youngest one, is an incredible skater. Wow. So they have to they had to learn, of course. In um, fact, I in my think it f- came automatically. In my came. family, I think there's about ten people. Okay, it was myself and my husband Ralphie, mm-hmm. my daughter and her husband David, mm-hmm. three grandkids, they all skated professional. My nephew, Bobby Sendejas, and Debbie Van Doren and Abel Lara. Wow. So there's about ten people the that we skated. Tree. Yeah. <laughs> the whole family, let me tell you. Wow. And they were all like roller derby, like oh yes, skaters, good skaters. Wow, yes. that's incredible. I mean, I want to hear like, um, I guess I want to hear like more stories about these incredible like memories. I remember in the documentary you're talking about uh, a different roller derby uh, player, and she like chipped your tooth, and like... that was Baby Ruckle. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll never forget her. <laughs> never. I said, you better take her off the track right now because I'm going to kill her. <laughs> they took yeah. her off. Yes, that was no, ready to... It's, oh, it's... It, I, I can't imagine. Like, there's so many instances. Oh, my gosh, yes. Did you ever have, like, terrible injuries, like, broken? The worst I've had is a cracked tailbone, mm-hmm. cracked rib, and my tooth that was knocked oh, out. I'm God. lucky I never broke a bone. Oh, yet. my God. But we have a... John Hall broke his back. Uh, mm-hmm. No, his, his neck. neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Shirley Hardman, her back. Liz Hernandez also had her back broken. Wow. We and, some oh, big... Even before I started skating, I believe there was somebody that died. They gave him a three or four men whip, and he went into the rail out into the audience. He died later on in the, in, in the hospital. Oh, my God. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can remember getting hit and going right in between the rail out and falling <laughs> on the cement and getting up like nothing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the bruises must have been insane. No, <laughs> the how burns. How do we do it? How do we burns. do it? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know That's the that. only thing. I always had a lot of burns on my, especially my hips. I was so skinny that the bones stuck out. <laughs> I didn't have any skin on the hip bones. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, you guys must have been having so and much. And the like, hands. Forget having yeah. nails. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, don't oh, hold no. my nails. Don't, you mess, don't with mess with my don't manicure. Don't mess with my manicure. Yeah. You guys must have been eating or having so much calcium, uh. breaking these bones and yeah. healing. But the camaraderie like is what I think back on. You know, mm-hmm. even girls from the other teams were now friends when we go to the roller derby reunions. Mm-hmm. And we made an incredible amount of friends. And we still yes. mm-hmm. see like each other at least every year. It's yeah. like a family. Yeah, and back then was it more a little I mean, bit I knew more H- Honey's mother. I yeah. Honey knew my my parents yeah. and my husband's parents. Our yeah. kids. Oh, yeah. It's a wow. an extended family. Yeah. Yes. How did you both meet? Skating. 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 <laughs> or like I guess the story of how you both met. I don't know if you recall. I think or... we were on teams. Tri- yeah, on the we, team. We got yeah. put on the same team. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I really didn't know Honey because she had gone to Texas uh, to I skate see. when I started skating. See. But when she came, I knew her mom because her oh. mom came to all the games, even when Honey was gone. <laughs> <laughs> she was there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. So yeah, you guys, you guys must go way back then. It's mm-hmm. sixty years. Sixty oh. years, <laughs> and wow! I wanted to ask you both about. Um, I guess we you talked about the recruitment that came with uh, getting into the roller derby teams. How? 
what specific things did they look for when adding you to the Braves or the Thunderbirds? Like, what kind of skills did they seek? I think they needed someone to fill in because we would have usually a couple of, uh, what would they call them, elder stateswomen that had been on the team for several years, and then we would be the rookies coming in. Mm -hmm. So it was sort of a, a stepladder type thing. And then if you were really good, you got to move up and you mm -hmm. got to skate a little bit more and show off a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you were even mediocre, they kept you. They they trained you really well. You had to train. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Endurance was number one. Endurance. Yeah. We stay on a pace for and an speed. hour. And <laughs> speed. You stay on pace for an hour? For one hour. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And um, not too many people will last. <laughs> But uh, I remember when I was at the train school, Jen Velo and I would be the last two girls there. I used to skate with the boys. Yeah, and the men would be leading, yeah. That's and the girls, impressive. some of the girls didn't go fast enough. I wanted I to skate with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> you try to, would you try to, like, race No, I would them? get on the, yeah. The, yeah. You course. could go, yeah, of course. You, they didn't mind you as, if you could keep up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we had great trainers. We'd have top skaters from a lot of different teams that would come and train us. They they hold the classes and they, uh, you could be skating around and they throw a chair. Oh, that would be Joan Weston. Oh they throw God. a chair out on and the track. You were supposed to you... jump as soon as that chair oh hit the track. Oh my God! So, so you, you guys had to... Ralphie threw a bench. <laughs> oh my God! You had to have quick reflexes oh, yeah, too. Absolutely, exactly. especially the benches were about that high, so yeah. you had to be able to jump. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> wow. So endurance, reflexes, yes. speed, right? Oh, and they would yeah. have what they call a whip, where two people would lean back. And whip you, and you'd have to be able to hold on to go around the track. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like fun. That sounds like, <laughs> the, like a dream. Training, the yeah. training was fun. I yeah. love to go oh, training. Yeah. Yeah, no, I see Once it you're on the team, the training's not as much fun because then you're skating four or five nights a week. Yeah, it must be tiring. But, I mean, I see it in both of your eyes, the way you guys light up talking about it. It's <laughs> incredible. It was our childhood. Yeah. We grew up, and we made so many friends. Mm-hmm. We're all, we're all really close Especially together. now when we think about it and we see the struggles that women have had to go through mm -hmm. to be an athlete and to be known. Yeah. And we were doing it 50 years ago. Uh -huh. You guys are so ahead of your time. Like, yeah. I I am astonished. Like, I didn't... I, I watched the documentary with my, with my parents and they also recall, like, watching it on TV with, with my grandparents and, mm -hmm. you know... Even like with, with wrestling and and these like you know. Aggressive well, my grandma used to watch the wrestling and she'd watch it and then she'd. I don't know if I want to watch the roller derby. Is Mika skating tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's it's amazing. I applaud you both for you. for breaking gender roles and Thank and you. you know women can do roller derby better. Oh, we yeah. loved it and we love it now. It's oh, fun yeah. talking about it because mm -hmm. yeah. that was our life. Yeah. We didn't even know we were exercising out there, you know? We're just having <laughs> a good <fun>. time. <laughs> and we got paid for yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So how often did you guys train? How how was it? What was it like? Once we were on the team, we were skating like four nights a week. There was a time we were skating eight days a week, <laughs> twice on Sundays. Twice. We had <laughs> double headers. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. So you didn't need a whole lot of training. The training uh -uh. was there. Once, once you're on the team. Yeah, no, you're... When the team didn't have a lot of uh, games, they would have a training session. Yeah. And I usually lucked out because I was in school. I had to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, sorry, I can't. I can't go. <laughs> master, oh, baby, you can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> We're all looking yeah. at you. Oh. Got it. So um, another question I wanted to ask uh, when you guys were in the Olympic, how how was the scene? How was, like, the venue, you know? Was it always crowded? I mean, you had mentioned earlier that people were always lined up to go see roller derby. Not only that, we would walk around, and people would be waiting around to go to their seats, and they'd stop to talk to us. They knew us, and we were friendly with everybody yes. in the place. There was, there was fans that were there every time we skated. Mm -hmm. They never miss a game. And they would bring us food from home. They, I mean, they oh, went yeah. out of their way wow. 
It was an amazing, amazing, and when I think of it now, it's like hollowed halls. I mean, to walk through that building, and we would go into what the, was like a dungeon where the where the <laughs> dressing rooms were. There yeah. were literally caves underneath that building, yeah. and they were just cement yeah. with the cement holding up the building. And they put some tables and chairs. And that's where we dressed, and they had little holes, cubby holes. Yeah, that and the nice. showers were like sometimes we'd have to wait for the boys to get out of the shower so we could get in. Yeah, in different places, but. I think of that building, and it's like it was like I hate to say it, be like a, ch a church. Mm -hmm. We it's lived. A church now. <laughs> I know it's what you're saying. It's now, a church yeah. now. <laughs> but it's it's yeah. it gives me chills to think of that building because it it stands out in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And we, I we love skating for the fans, you know, because I mean they were there for us, so we wanted to be there for them yeah, too. Yeah, of course. You know? Especially that they're. Yeah. That's why when I watch, yeah. say, a basketball game now and I see LeBron go out and shake hands with oh, somebody, yeah. we did it all the, all time. the time. Everybody that came up to us oh. and signed autographs. I mean, <laughs> with Take pictures, signed. whatever. Yeah. yeah. And you were going to say something before. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> we, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things no, come and yeah. go. I, I'm like that. But too. that building is, is yeah. very, it's in my heart. It's deep in my heart. When you mentioned the Olympic and Mrs. Eaton, the woman who ran that yeah, place, I, was I would see her flying around there all the time. Oh. And she loved my ex-husband. She once gave us tickets to go see a boxing match yeah. in the third row. And I swore I'd never go to a, gate, a boxing match again because blood. when they the blood and the splat, I mean, it, then the sweat would splat right onto you. Oh. And I thought, these women go to Las Vegas all dressed up. And they, <laughs> I said, don't ever, I told my ex-husband, don't ever get me a seat that close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I even, from Australia, there's a, a fan. Mm -hmm. I, I, he texts me, you know, he's still a great person, but he's still my fan. And I just write back to him to let him know that we care, that yeah. we were there for them. But he's all the way from Australia. Wow. He was going to come to the reunion uh, two years ago, but that's when the COVID and all that hit. Oh, so yeah. maybe one day he will come. But yeah, hopefully. they still love us down there, you know? That's beautiful yeah, that probably. you guys, you know, cared so much, too, for the fans and the people oh, that yeah. loved you. And well, our reunions, we still get close to 100 people. that, And they're, they're, we're dying off left and right. It's like, who died last year, yeah. you know? Oh, my gosh, <laughs> yes. But it's, yeah. it's a family. Yeah. Um, so did you both meet Eileen Eaton when she ran the Olympic I did, term? yes. I think I did, too. I can't really remember, yeah. but probably Oh, no, did. I knew her. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's incredible. She loved my ex-husband, so he, she would come out and talk to George yeah. all the time. And who didn't? He's a great person. Everybody yeah. loved George. <laughs> He's a sweetheart, a great skater. Yeah. They would give him a whip. He'd go in one leg and all, all the like way back. He's like six foot almost. three, so oh. you can imagine yeah. how oh. big he was. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Man, he probably bigger than life out there. Oh, yeah, life. <laughs> yeah. Um, honey. I wanted to ask you uh, how how was it to be inducted in the uh, Roller Derby Hall of Fame? Well, I don't know if I was in the Hall of Fame. I think it was a li living legend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. almost the same thing. Yeah, but. It was exciting. Yeah. I mean, I go, oh, my gosh, you know, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's accepting an yes. Oscar. <laughs> and then we had Tony Tag. She was into the oh. Hall of Fame. And she's in a stroller now, you know, a little walker. And they they told her, well, you're still on wheels. She goes, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Always. She was so running circles. She, yes. she was a big, tall oh. woman, heavy set. He yeah. And to see her now, she's walking in yeah. a walker. But she still has that smile from her oh, ear. Oh, yeah. And the roller derby uh, theme. I mean, she talked about us. Yeah. I was on her team, and it was wonderful to see her. Yeah. That's how yeah. we've kept in touch over the years. Yeah, oh my gosh. awesome. Yeah, no, I think, I think this podcast is also. I I interviewed Steve Debro last week about the oh. the documentary, and one thing that I really took away from that conversation was, you know, telling these stories before people pass on you know like it's it's important that we preserve it and I think also the documentary only scratches the surface on on like the memories and yes. the hopefully this will keep the Olympic from getting torn down yeah. yeah no exactly so I wanted to ask like what was it like to um to be asked to be part of the documentary 
for oh, it was very exciting yeah. i mean because it's in it's in your heart you gr- i really grew up there mm-hmm. you know <laughs> and on a team something i used to watch and wanted to become one of them and for me at that age to become a skater it was just it was just awesome yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I have oh. an extended family, really big family here, because my my dad was one of seven and my mom one of four, mm-hmm. and all my cousins. I've got probably fifty cousins, and they all now have great grandkids, and they're still. Bertha's the one that skated in the roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> Your celebrity. Yeah, I mean, she skated in the roller derby. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I was I was very. I had a, such a good time watching the documentary, and I think, even the exhibition like the uniforms that are on display there and and the I mean I I briefly talked about with you guys in the booth about the helmets that always cracked me up those helmets were flying off oh yeah well when you said uniforms that was my second (laughs) when I went back to school I went for fashion design and through the years I would design and make roller derby uniforms really and they would come even the the uh kids that were learning to skate, Bertha, can you make me some shorts? I want a pair of tights. So there was no place to go buy them yeah. except when you were on a team. Yeah. So I had I, I had been out of it for a while, but I kept yeah. hearing about everyone because they'd come, make me some shorts, make me some tights. That's awesome. I, I had no idea. That's really special that you did that. Oh, and yeah. Always finding ways to give back to exactly. the, the future yeah. roller derby. As a matter of fact, I'm giving a... Gary Powers, my old skates, and some of the uniforms. I still have my original T-Bird uniform. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> the shorts are like that oh. big. I, I weighed like 28 24. pounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had 24s, and we'd take them in. 24s? <laughs> we'd still take them in. That's, I mean, I, I can't. Well, I don't think I can put one leg in it now. <laughs> and I'm not big. So we were small. Wow. I mean, I'm... Do you still like or make uniforms for for roller derby? On call, I one I had one person come to me and he wanted a replica of one of the Tebow jerseys, oh. and I made it for him. And he proceeded to uh, frame it and put it in his oh. man cave. Oh, that's Ray sweet. Robles. Oh, Ray. Yep. Oh he said, Bertha, could you please make me a shirt? I want to. I have a man cave and I want to put it up. Yeah. And I made it for him. That's so special. Mm-hmm. That is one of a kind. <laughs> That's made by by you who <laughs> yeah. was on the T-Birds. And people like Ray, I never got to know them until I went back and skated when they had a small thing in Pomona maybe 25 years ago, yeah. 30 years ago. And I met him then because he was a great skater then. But it was way past my generation. So I got in touch with a lot of the people through being able to make uniforms. Oh, my goodness. That's, I mean, it's amazing how you guys continue to find ways to give back and I'm hoping that this podcast will also be a way to connect with your fans again and because this will be accessible on all platforms. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, let me tell you one thing. I'm look, looking for a building because mm-hmm. I have a friend of mine that has a track, a roller derby track. It's in my backyard in a semi-truck, okay? I want to find a building so we could set it up and have a training school because we when we train it, we used to train for a hours yeah. we'd have a uh the pace would be one hour and would you'd have to stay in there you'd have to stay in there otherwise they wouldn't pick you for a team and also like uh, bertha was saying earlier joan weston was out there she would throw a chair on you you'd have to jump ralphie valderas threw off the bench the bench <laughs> and she had to jump and that's how hard they would train yeah, us. you learn to take a whip oh, all, yeah. all the different whip. things it, it, yeah. it was a lot of training uh-huh. so with training, would there be like intervals, kind of like I mean, I I'm thinking like in when I did PE, like we do intervals with like different aspects. So you'd pace for one hour, and yeah. then they'd start That's throwing you, yeah. furniture, oh, <laughs> or yeah. oh, they'd have you just change places while you skate and speed, take a whip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did the, you ever the blocking, the blocking? Oh you my know. gosh, yeah. And know how to take a rail. Well, when we first started, they didn't even have. Nothing. Uh, no over cover. The rail. No cover. I even did that for someone for Luis Sanchez. I made all the rail coverings. Did, yeah, because then later on they we put a covering. Cause we put you, sponge and a cover over yeah. with snaps, and I made the whole track. And then yeah. for the uprights, so that when you bumped into them before, it was just wood. Yeah. <laughs> that so my ex husband broke Tell his me. ankle hitting the wood. George broke his ankle. Yeah. It just snapped. Oh my yeah. god! Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, and did you? Did they ever do trainings like? 
to like to teach you the whip and to oh, teach you to oh, like yeah. work That's with your teammates. Yeah. Yeah. For an hour. So if I get a building, we'll set up the track and we'll start teaching people <laughs> how to roller derby, the real roller derby. Yeah. No, that'd be amazing oh, if you yes. could open yes. your own training mm-hmm. class and. Um, I mean, they people do fitness. It would be a great way to stay oh, fit and definitely. roller skate at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I I've just gone skating for fun, and I sweat. Like it, <laughs> I get hot. I like try to go fast, and and it, it's tiring. I didn't. I never. I think I never. I never grew up near like a roller rink, so I would ice skate in the winter. But oh. then I started. You know, this when I moved here, there's so many more roller rinks nearby, right. and I went with my last roommate, and I like would I would skate so fast, and then I'd I get off, and I'd try to like grab water, and I just slip like I was on a <laughs> banana peel, <laughs> fall on my butt. <laughs> what I can't believe now is that you can get skates in any color with glitter. With the, we got like black or white mm-hmm. skates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. High tops or low tops. Yeah. No, I I remember in the pandemic online roller skating was like making big. a big comeback and i they were coming out in all these different colors nice. and and these girls would like learn how, they would look like they would float well, the way they walked on roller skates like it, it's it's crazy how much of a comeback it's it becomes second nature oh, yeah. i mean you don't have to worry about stopping you just stop yeah no it's it's amazing um a lot of fun though yeah. a lot of fun yeah no it sounds like <laughs> You guys had the time. We do it all life. over again. Yeah, exactly <laughs> in a second. Yeah. Um I guess uh do you have any advice for young girls or women that are interested in getting into roller derby? Well, not necessarily roller derby, but anything. Go after your dream yeah. if that's what you want to do. I mean, I see the girls not playing. I love basketball. Mm-hmm. And these girls that are shooting better than the men. Oh, oh, they're fantastic and they have the endurance. And they're flying out there. I mean, just keep it up. The soccer, everybody. Any sport. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Just We're equal. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and equal pay. <laughs> yeah. No, keep doing it. I keep think. It up. Whatever. Whatever sport it is. Yeah. I think it's it's beautiful, you know, to see how you guys, you know, just completely went against the norm, you know, especially back in the day, like. I I'm I'm amazed to see you both on there on those teams, you know. I I think yeah, they just go for it and I know a lot of uh cuz I just graduated from UCLA. Oh. And I, Yay. Go <laughs> Bruins. Go Bruins. I'm a Bruin fan. You are? <laughs> yeah. Um I had a at a at a classmate who who also she roller skated recreationally and she would learn how to like she would go to the skate park and oh, okay. like do yeah. like half pipes on those mm-hmm. roller skates and it's awesome because I I'm amazed on the boards much less on skating yeah, yeah no it's it's crazy but like do like huge like jumps in the air like it's awesome did you ever like I guess we like, practice jumping yeah. That, that bench that Ralphie threw out. <laughs> oh, you're Sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes, sometimes you just to. put it there. So yeah. when we came around, we knew we were going to have to jump. It yeah. wasn't thrown at us. Yeah. Wow. Well, let me see how much time we have. How are we doing? Yeah? That's, okay. Well, I think that is... Any final thoughts? Yeah. Any final thoughts that you both might have on the conversation? I just want to thank you for having us yes. and yeah. let people remember what roller derby was and what it meant. I mean, and now it means even more to me because I'm seeing women really yeah. out there. That's beautiful. And we could do it all over again. So <laughs> I'm still looking for that building. Anybody out there? <laughs> give me a call. Yeah, like everyone contact yeah. Honey Sun. I'll yes. work in the office for you, Honey. Okay, there you <laughs> yeah. go. We got it. So we can continue a new generation of exactly. roller derby yes. stars. Yes, yes. Definitely. Uh, if you guys, I'll, I'll literally plug it. Uh, if you want to contact Honey Ch- Sanchez, you can. She would love a space to to train the future of roller derby athletes. Um, Yay. But you yeah. Come. And thank you both again thank for you coming for out here. Thank you for having the, us, the honestly. The day we're recording, the 10 has been shut down. So I really appreciate you both coming. <laughs> thank you so much. You're very welcome. I was super excited to talk to you both. And I'm, we don't want to forget the Olympic. Nope. Never. No matter what. Yeah. It's been an honor. Thank um, you. 
but yeah we will be tuning in for another episode soon uh but yeah we'll see you next time thanks